Welcome back to Powerhouse. A high efficiency water heater is important, but there's some new technology that it can help you save more energy and money. Here to tell us now about that is Rick Caruso. And Rick, what exactly is a wastewater heat recovery system? Well, Pete, uh, essentially what we're looking at is everybody has waste. Uh, homes, businesses, hotels, and their biggest waste is hot water. They just paid to produce this hot water and they put it right down the drain, which is just like putting money down the drain. What we do is we recapture that energy and preheat new water with it. Now, we're looking at what I call the, sort of the, the, the main unit of this. Explain what we're, what we're seeing here, Rick. Well, this is our model, the Green Fox, which is a drain water heat recovery or a gravity film exchange. Gravity film exchange simply is gravity going around, taking your water as it's going down the drain, clinging to the side and creating a film. Then it exchanges that heat energy to the outside coil, which is new fresh water coming in. And again, you, as you mentioned, we've already heated that water that we're getting rid of, but you're utilizing that to bring up the temperature of that fresh cold water that's coming in, right? I'm capturing 50% of that energy that's being thrown down the drain, yes sir. And we, we like that. Now, can this be used with any water heater system? Absolutely, it's compatible with solar, electric, gas, and or um, tankless. So it's gonna enhance those systems by giving warm water or pre-tempered water back into the system, even on a high usage basis. Rick, you just mentioned about gravity. So with this system, you don't need additional power supply or anything else like that? No, there's no working parts. You don't need a pump. This is all just gonna be installed. We test it. Once it's tested, you're done. Our viewers are always interested in new technology. What's it cost for a system like this to be put in? Uh, the average cost is going to be under $1,000, and we recommend them for a family of four or more. The reason being is this. If you have four people, that's four showers to eight showers a day, a dishwasher being run, laundry being run. So all that hot water makes sense for it to be put in. Less than that, it really doesn't pay for itself very quickly. Okay, so for an electric water heater, what are we looking, back, looking at? Electric water heater, because the cost is higher, is going to be very quick. It's going to be somewhere around two years. Whereas gas, being more efficient and less expensive, it's going to be closer to five years. What about impact on, on the water heater system? Well, because this is always raising the temperature of incoming fresh water, taking it from that 40 to 55 degree and raising it at least 10 degrees, you're putting tempered water or warm water into your hot water tank. What that does is it's going to save you from condensation, which causes the rust and deterioration and breakdown of the system. I, I like that. So again, some real positives there, right, Rick? I Absolutely. mean, in terms of the, the energy efficiency of our water heater, you're improving that. Mm -hmm. And then, so again, the, the condensation, so you're extending the life of that, of that tank? And the efficiency of it. When you think about a water tank, you're talking about minimum $800. And if you're able to get three to five years more life out of it, it's paid for itself very quickly. Rick, let's talk about the installation of this system. Uh, the installation is actually the best and simplest part of this whole process because what we're doing very easily is we're going to take and cut part of this drain line out and replace it with our unit. We're going to use a copper to PVC uh, fitting that we'll take and transfer and then we're just going to run our cold water line into the bottom and as that comes up, we're going to take that pre temp water and send it back to your hot water tank. Very simple. And again, taking that up how many degrees? Uh, it's going to take it up a minimum of 10 just through agitation. Okay. But the delta or the temperature rise that you'll normally see from drain water recovery is going to be somewhere around 30 degrees. Okay, and that's again, we're saving energy because we don't have to heat that tank up more. Exactly. And that water is going to be at a, at a warmer temperature to start. And if you're in a basement and want to remodel, this can be enclosed inside the wall so you don't have to see it after it's all done. So a lot of, again, uh, some, when we talk about green savings here, all the way around. Green, economical savings, and common sense. Who wants to pay for something and throw it down the drain? Well, Rick, we always like to share new technology, again, that can help save our viewers 
energy and money in your wallet. And if you'd like more information about a wastewater heat recovery system, go to our website at powerhousetv.com.